Back in 1973, she was named Miss Foxborough, and tonight she makes history as the first living black woman inducted into the Heritage Hall of Fame. Singer and social justice advocate Rose Weaver joins us now. Good morning. Good morning. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much. I what, appreciate that. You have had such success on screen, on stage, you sing, you, you kind of do it all. What does this honor mean to you to be inducted into the Heritage Hall of Fame? That I've come full circle in a way. Mm -hmm. You know, starting out at Trinity Repertory Company in 1973, I actually got to Rhode Island though in 1968. And you're and from then, Georgia originally? Originally Is that from Georgia, but okay. Rhode Island's really been my home. Yeah. Um, since then, I went to Wheaton College, came back here, started my first job with mm -hmm. the Rhode Island State Council on the Arts, first neighborhood arts program touring. Anyway, I coordinated all of that. And I just, I'm, I'm just thrilled. I'm yeah. just so excited. We're happy I'm for grateful. you. You can tell, you can tell that you're... Ge your reaction is completely genuine, and, and you are thrilled because you've had so much success over the years, so you would think, well, here's another accolade to, to add to the mix, but this, this holds a special spot in your heart. It really does, you know, because I, uh, I walked behind Dr. Martin Luther King's casket in Georgia. You did? And it was yeah, wow. before I came here. I was 19 years old, and that, that's the same year that I actually I came to Rhode Island. Um, and his statement about content of character and I, I, I sort of like put that inside of me and I, I volunteered a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to become aware of what was going on and be proactive about it. Like I'm pro-aging, you know. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to tell people that I'm 70 years old. A lot of women are ashamed <laughs> of their age. I wouldn't have guessed that first of all, stuff. Rose. But, but I, you know, Dr. King helped to instill in me values that I really was hoping would make me a, a quality person and a, and a person um, aware of what was going on in the community and mm -hmm. this award says thank you and I appreciate that. Bob Burke who nominated me um, and I just you know I didn't realize people were seeing me. Yeah. So, but, but like you said, you were influenced by, by so many iconic figures um, in your childhood and your lifetime. Do you hope that you, you, know, you kind of use your platform and, and, and your fame, your success to hopefully inspire others? Do you see yourself as a role model? I do, and I'm trying Good. to do that and, and stay aware of it, as I say, all the time. When I wrote Menopause Mama, mm -hmm. the show, it was about helping women to see that we're fine aging, yeah. that if we take good care of ourselves, um, exercise, eat well that we're fine and it's okay because we can't do anything about it anyway mm -hmm. and so to get into it as a, a, an a pro-aging which I think I coined that phrase you know back in 2000 I was a grad pro student aging? at Brown yeah. yeah I like that term yeah, <laughs> yeah pro-aging so I, I hope I'm a role model anyway I think you to, are to live well uh, to appreciate aging and mm -hmm. to fight against um, sexism and, and ageism and racism and all of the isms. Yeah, and this is huge because we're saying for the first time you're the first living black woman to be inducted into this, and it's 2019. Do you feel like it's, ab it's about time? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, my gratitude is huge for it. Mm -hmm. um, Christoretta Jones was the, the uh, only other black woman inducted and uh, posthumously. Yep. Um, and she was born in the 1800s. Wow. Well, it's, you're, it's nice to see that you are, are part of a, an amazing group. And it's nice you. to see you recognized and honored. Thank you for coming back on Thank our show. Thank you for having me. We always course. love having you. Uh, if you want more information on the Heritage Hall of Fame, you can go to roadshow.com.